We introduced airplanes, accurate plane estimation via 3D consistent embeddings, a new approach for fast and efficient 3D plane estimation from posed images in indoor scenes. Decomposing a 3D scene into planes is a useful representation for downstream applications such as robotics and augmented reality. Previous work for 3D plane detection focused on detecting planes from single images, or uses a complex end-to-end -end pipeline that jointly estimates geometry and plane assignment from multi-view images. Instead, for an initial estimate of the 3D geometry, we rely on existing state-of-the-art efficient methods for 3D reconstruction from RGB images. Given such a high-quality estimate of the 3D geometry of the scene, we ask the question, are traditional primitive fitting methods such as RANSAC competitive when used for 3D plane estimation? The answer is yes. Using RANSAC on top of the predicted 3D geometry is not just competitive with existing methods, it achieves state-of-the-art results. However, since RANSAC uses only geometric information, it fails to separate parts of the scene that belong to unique 3D planes, despite being semantically distinct. For example, a closed door. In this work, we introduce a new approach for 3D plane estimation, which is able to separate the scene into semantically meaningful planes. We now describe our method in more detail. Given as input a collection of input images with associated camera poses, we use a 2D neural network to estimate three different outputs. A plane probability indicating which pixels correspond to planar and non-planar regions, a depth map, and a planar embedding where pixels with similar embeddings correspond to the same plane. We also compute surface normals from the estimated depth map. The per-image depth estimates are used in a TSDF fusion framework to obtain a mesh of the scene. The per-image estimates of plane probabilities are also fused into the TSDF, providing an indication of which vertices are planar and non-planar. Next, we fuse the per-image embeddings into a coherent 3D representation. However, this is not straightforward, because the 2D planar embeddings are not consistent across images. This can be seen in the video, where we observe the embeddings, depicted as colour, changing across the different time steps. To overcome this issue, we introduce a per-scene MLP that assigns an embedding vector to each 3D vertex in the mesh. This MLP is supervised by the information in the predicted per-image embeddings and the estimated normal map by using a push-pull loss. The pull term encourages a pair of points with similar 2D embeddings and normals to have the same embedding in 3D, and the push term encourages points with different 2D embeddings and normals to have different embeddings in 3D. Once the per-vertex embeddings are obtained, they are used in a final clustering step, where nearby vertices with similar embeddings are assigned the same plane. For a given ScanNet test sequence, here we show the RGB input, the predicted depth maps, predicted per image embeddings, our per scene 3D embeddings reprojected to 2D, and our final planar mesh representation of the scene. Our per scene embeddings are consistent across frames, in contrast to the per image embeddings. Our method can also be adapted to run online. The 3D geometry estimation pipeline, which includes depth estimation, TSDF fusion, and mesh extraction, are commonly used in online systems. Our per scene embeddings network is updated in an online fashion. This updating step is very efficient, only taking a few milliseconds. Finally, to achieve interactive speeds for the clustering step, we can use mean shift on the 3D embeddings and Hungarian matching to encourage consistent planes across time. We evaluate our method on the ScanNet dataset, where we achieve state-of-the-art performance on a variety of geometric, segmentation, and planar metrics. Here, we compare our method with the most related published method planar recon, and with our competitive baseline, RANSAC on top of simple recon, without our per scene embeddings. When compared to RANSAC applied only on the 3D geometry, our method is able to recover separate semantic planes that have common planar geometry. When compared to planar recon, we can see that our method has closer fidelity to the ground truth and avoids oversimplification of geometry. Our method generalizes well to non-scan-net footage, as shown in this example, which was casually captured with Apple's AR kit. In summary, we present a new approach for 3D plane estimation for indoor scenes. Our core contribution is a per-scene network that optimizes consistent 3D planar embeddings. We demonstrate state-of-the-art results in the ScanNet dataset and show that our approach can be run online at interactive speeds, enabling applications such as augmented reality effects. Thanks for watching.